Okay, so let's continue our uh, chapter three lesson um, on, on trim operations, and we're also going to cover um, associated lines and arcs uh, in this particular lesson. We'll finish up in the next one with helixes and uh, with our text curves. So let's go ahead and, and look at uh, how we trim something in NX. So here's our interface. I won't show you guys anymore how to log in. I think you guys get the idea. I'll just start from here. Let me go ahead and change our coordinate axis to our top view. So we have our X and Y coordinates. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a line. And what I'm going to show you now is how to trim or shorten a line that is bound by uh, two lines. So let's show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and create two lines that we have done before. Let's go to insert, curve, and let's go to basic curves, like we've been doing. We can select a line, and then uh, let's go ahead and create a um, couple, two or three lines. So let's, here's one, let me go ahead and break it. Here's another, here's another. Now, what I'm wanting to do now is I'm wanting to uh, trim this left side here of this uh, line that's intersecting these two parallel lines. I also want to trim this section. So how do we do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to edit. We're going to go to curve, and we're going to just select trim. And you see we've pulled up another menu here. A few things we can change on this is we can say that uh, uh, when we trim the line, I think the default is going to say we keep it. So if you keep the line, what you're going to see when you trim it are some dash lines that remain afterwards. If you choose to uh, go ahead and hide the lines like I'm going to do, it, will, it won't show the lines that we cut after we do it. Okay, so to trim it, we need to select uh, a few parameters. One is the bounding object one. So bounding object is this, the edge of whatever line we're wanting to cut. So the edge that I'm wanting to cut this line, I'm, I'm looking at, and I'm looking at the figure in uh, project uh, 3.5.1. We're wanting to keep this center section, so it's going to make something like an H shape. So let's go ahead and say, select our bounding object one. So our bounding object one is going to be this one. Okay. Let's go ahead and select our bounding object two. Select bounding object two or select this one. You see once we've selected it, so I'm just left clicking on each one of these lines and what's appearing is a check mark beside each one of them. Now, uh, the curve that we're going to trim, I'm going to select it, so I'll, I'm going to click uh, this button. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and select the curve that I want to trim. So in this example, we have to select the side of the line that we want trimmed. So if I click on this side of the line, all the line on both sides of this object will be deleted. If I click on this side of the line, the lines on the outside will remain, but the inside will be deleted. So you want to make sure to click on the side of the line that you don't want the line. So I'll go ahead and left click now on this side of the line so I can make an H type shape. So there you go. Um, so we created now, uh, we, we had a line that went to here, and we trimmed it based on and use, use these two uh, other lines as a boundary. Now section 3.5.2, the project listed there, we have a couple of other lines, so let's go ahead and draw them. Let's go to basic curves. Let's draw these, uh, a couple other lines. So let's say we have a line here, let's say we have a line here, and uh, let's say we have another line that's not quite as long. So we have three lines. We can use this same function now to extend this line to these other bounding lines. So we're going to go ahead and use trim again. 
So let's go select twin. We can select our bounding object one, which is this one. We can select the bounding object two, which we did before it, but we selected this one. And we can now select our curve. Now, you'll see when I select this curve, what's going to happen is this curve now is going to be bound by these two. So it's going to extend horizontally to until it touches these two other lines. So let me go ahead and select it. And you see now we have uh, extended those two center lines. So uh, we can trim a line uh, from two bounding objects. We can extend a line between two bounding objects. We can also uh, trim a line if there's just one. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a, one more example. So let's say we have a line here. Let's say we have a line here. And let's trim based just on one line. So in these two examples, I have two lines on each side. On this example, I'm only going to use one line to define how I want to trim it. So in this example, let's go to Edit. We'll go to Curve, and we'll go to Trim again. So in this case, we only have one bounding object. So I'm going to select this is my bounding object. I'm going to select the side. So on this object, I want to select the side I want to trim. So I want this side to be cut off, so I'm going to select this side. So you see there, uh, now I went ahead and trimmed that. So that's a useful tool to use, particularly when we're doing some other, uh, start doing some other functions, some sketches that will be a useful uh, tool to have. So uh, that is section 3.5. Let me now uh, proceed to uh, section 3.6, where we're going to talk about associative lines and arcs. Okay, so let me go ahead and just get rid of these lines that I just drew. So now let's talk a little bit about associative lines. So associative lines, so up to now we have been using this insert, curve, and basic curves. So from NX point of view, these curves are considered something like dumb, dumb curves. They don't know uh, how they are in relation to other points. We just have drawn them kind of freehand up to now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something called associative curves. So we'll go to uh, uh, insert. Instead of now a basic curve, we're going to draw a, let's draw, go ahead and draw a line. So a line, these are kind of smarter type curves. You see here I have an associative box check. And what that means is that these curves know where they are in relation to other objects. So we can draw a perpendicular line, a parallel line. We can draw arcs that are relative to a particular line or shape. So let's draw a line similar to the one that we had before. So let's let's look at uh, a perpendicular line. You see how it snaps into place uh, when I have uh, this associative curve. Uh, let's say OK. So that's my associative curve. Another another cool thing about these is if you double click with the left mouse button on some of these, it will give you a coordinate of where it is. And you can go into here and you can also change the coordinate of where uh, where it is. So um, you, know, you can go in and, and change some of the values in there. So let's say we wanted to draw a line perpendicular to this line. We can go to curve insert another line and I have so you see you can see up here we have what's called a snap point. If I disable snap points it won't let me select the midpoint or center point. If I select what are called snap points it identifies these endpoints, midpoints. In order for me to easier draw a line that's perpendicular or at a certain angle to this other line that I'm drawing. So these are associative curves. We also have other shapes like associative arcs. So we can draw an arc or a circle. Or we, um, we make sure it says associative. So, so in this associative arc, we can select a point um, where we want it to start, another point where we want it to end, and then we can define the radius for this curve, we think this curve should be. And you can see how it's 
trying to manipulate itself relative to these other curves that are available or that are plotted here uh, from us. So you can see that uh, we have uh, this little tool to use now. Uh, associative curves, so they're smarter curves, they know where they are in relation to the other curves as opposed to our uh, dumber lines, uh, as NX calls it, where we have a line here and we have to do something else uh, in order to make it parallel or perpendicular to it. Okay, so there is your lesson on 3.5 and 3.6 where we talked about uh, trimming and uh, associative and uh, non-associative or basic curves.